Right. Oh, another bit of photo news. There was a shock this week when a llama arrived at violinist Nigel Kennedy's house claiming that he was the father of her love child. <laughs> <laughs> Right, sir, uh, now we come uh, on to meet somebody who I've been dying to meet for at least a day or two, and here he is, Sir Griffiths Jones. Hello, <laughs> 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 Griff. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> right, sit down. Right. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's jolly good. Jolly, jolly good to meet you, Griff. And <laughs> <laughs> you've come on in your, your best cardigan. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> now we are lucky to have you because uh, mm. you should be in a play at the moment, really. But uh, the, the theatre got burned down, didn't it? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of a shame because Thark well, did it really it well. It wasn't me that burned it down. I have no. To no. Well, it wouldn't be, would it? You no. To account. No. Well, there's a rumour around that I didn't particularly want to go and do sort of. Yes. Four months in the West End doing the mm. same thing every night, but that's not true. No, of course really, not. <laughs> you were out of the country, I think. When, uh, well, when it yes, I yeah. was. Yeah. But do you like doing plays? I mean, you, you had a great success with Charlie's Aunt. There was Thark, which was successful when it was in a theatre that was mm. still standing. And uh, <laughs> you did several other plays. Mm. Uh, do, do you like doing that? Not really, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you like get, getting back to your, your, your first love, which is, which is advertising, I suppose. Yes, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> Short. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> yes. Um, is that sometimes getting a bit irritating that a lot of people will know you from your very successful adverts for which, which is that which is that lager you do? I can't remember which one it is, but uh, the one that Mel doesn't do. <laughs> the one but that well, most of the alcohol turns to piss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, do, do you um, eventually? Yeah. But uh, does uh, <laughs> happens to them all. Um, That's just got me sacked off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a shame! Yeah, Not again. Know. I thought you got. They always get. No, they get very upset. They get. I've... They try to sack me every year. But for one reason or another. But didn't they sack you once because you revealed that you're a teetotaler? I did, yes. That, they were very upset by that. They <laughs> thought I should obviously be a drunken alcoholic yeah. <laughs> to, advertise their, uh, to advertise their beer. That was, that was upsetting. But then, mm. just to make things a little bit better, I admitted uh, at a press conference to having been a drunken alcoholic yes. <laughs> before I became a teetotaler. And they were very upset about that as well. <laughs> So then yes. they rang me up, and then, unfortunately, I went and played a drunken alcoholic yeah. in a play, yeah. and they didn't like that. Now, that was a very bad idea, so they nearly sacked me for that. And then, well, unfortunately, they, they, they rang up and they said, this play that you're doing mm. went in uh, Thark, yeah. it, it, I, can you assure us that you're not playing an alcoholic <laughs> in it? Yes. And, and were you? Well, I was, in fact. It was. <laughs> that was, was the that way just... I'd interpreted the yes. part. In fact, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't said... actually demanded what it was. Yeah. Point, but I did yeah. spend most of my time drinking <laughs> glasses of cold tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. So, um, now, I, my deep research on you, which has yes, taken good. me 20 years so far, <laughs> as, uh, you've just been off to Australia. Was that I for have, an advertisement yes. as well? D <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, strangely, it was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, yes, I did. Yes, I went. Yes, but how long did you go for? I went. Uh, I went for a morning. Yeah. <laughs> well, plus the journey time. Plus obviously. the journey. Yes, I went for three days, of which I spent two on the aeroplane. Uh, yeah. It's a glamorous Four life, isn't it? It was uh, exciting. Yeah. Yes. Do you enjoy all that travelling around? And uh, no, because you see the same films on the way out that you see yeah. on the way back. <laughs> all right. If you come back yeah. that quickly. So. Any of yours on it? Any of your films on? No, <laughs> <laughs> no but some of my adverts. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see yourself as, a, as doing more film acting? Because you're good in films, aren't you? Well, I, yes, I enjoy it. I've been in a lot. I've worked with, obviously, as you know, in my adverts. <laughs> I've, uh... <laughs> I mean, proper films. Oh, not just, proper films. Not just sort of 30-second yes, well, yeah, jobs for, you see, yeah, to pay you a new house. You see, they don't... They don't... <laughs> <laughs> there isn't... Um... <laughs> there, isn't, there isn't much of a, a British no. film comedy industry left now. Mm. Certainly not after more from outer space. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you know there isn't you know there's not a lot there's not a lot around. So yeah. you, everybody wants to be in films, yeah. of course, but there's just that nobody's making them. Yeah. So. So right. You don't really get the choice. You well, know. I'm just mucking around with you because obviously you'd like to be in films, wouldn't you? I don't think I, I would oh, really you know. Would. I know I, don't, I can't really act, uh, unlike you. But um, <laughs> the uh, because we are known for your end, well, not endless, but lots of series of Smith and Jones with your yeah. partner Mel Smith. Yes. Yeah. And are you sort of set to be the sort of the two Ronnies of the uh, the eighties and nineties? <laughs> 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 would you say? <laughs> Yeah, 
Yes, I, you we can didn't say anything. I yes. wouldn't. That, yes, you can tell you. Would be lovely. Two Ronnies in your work. It's, uh, twenty-one <laughs> years. Of twenty-one years yeah. of trying to be the two Ronnies. Yeah. <laughs> but you've got another series of that planned. Uh, we have. Yes, yeah. we're doing one of those in 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 the autumn. Mm. And uh, we're, we're waiting at the moment for scripts to be written. Mm, good. Well, I, how I hope they come in. <laughs> how are you getting on? <laughs> well, I've got a few other things on. Yeah, that, but, yeah, uh, yeah. The, uh, um, but, but Mel obviously has great designs to be a film director. He does, yes. And, and would you like to do either directing in, in the theatre or in, in film? Well, I, di I, dire I did direct. I did directed a, 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 an advert. <laughs> <laughs> I directed, yeah. I directed in the theatre yes. as well. I directed a, a production of The Alchemist some yes. time ago. Yeah, but did you want to do more of that? Cause I... Yes, I would, yes, yes. But these things, you know, it's a crowded life. Yeah. I have, obviously. Yes, what, with all the adverts. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you could squeeze you know, in a bit you know, of proper work. Yeah. Yes, now and again. Griff, yeah. this conversation's dying on its feet, so let's bring on, <laughs> let's bring on another comedian. Uh, we've got a star studies cast tonight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Peter Cook. <laughs> 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 Let's try and make things a little more gloomy. We can talk more about the British film industry if you want to. I, I would not like to. No. <laughs> well, you've been in some films as well, haven't you? Mm, not really. <laughs> <laughs> what, what we're hoping you, you might have some views. Uh, from your private eye experience on sort of things that are going on at the moment, uh, are you disturbed by, like, the football violence and the Leeds United sports? Mm, no, it? not really. I've got the sneaking admiration for uh, our lads, because uh, when you think <laughs> that the threat of 200 English people mm. arriving in Stockholm mm. made them close the whole city down... Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's quite a powerful thing, isn't yes, it? Yes, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> It's not particularly uh, open at the best of times, Stockholm, is it? Aren't no, it is a little bit yeah. shut, and I thought with the Channel Tunnel coming up, uh, Mrs Thatcher could use them to good effect. Yes. Have 200 go over, you know, just like in the old days, stick a Union Jack in, yes. and say, it's ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How else did we get the colonies? <laughs> As a, at heart, you're a traditionalist, aren't you? I'm um, very, very yeah. old-fashioned, yeah. yes. Because you'd get my vote for the, to be the successor to Margaret Thatcher as a leader of the Tory party. Have you, have I have got lovely, penetrating eyes, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> now, I see Yoko Ono as the uh, successor. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Well, she can really manage finance, you know. <laughs> um, uh, She's made a lot of money, hasn't she? Well, yes, but all for a good cause. Yeah. And did you read that the other day John came down in a vision? No, I didn't see that. And, uh, well, <laughs> no, of course you didn't. You weren't there. <laughs> John came down in the yeah. vision and said, uh, I would like you to buy the 50 most expensive diamonds in the world. Oh, really? And put them together in a necklace of tears. Gosh. Isn't that a beautiful thought? Yeah. <laughs> but who did she say it to? Or who did he say it to? He said it to her. Oh, right. Yeah. He also popped down to my place and said, by the way, I forgot to tell her yeah. that I want you to have yeah. a rather vulgar platinum toilet studded in <laughs> sapphires <laughs> worth at least £15 million. <laughs> so well, I can't get through to yoga. <laughs> <laughs> you're holding yourself ready for that to be delivered. I'm ready, yes. yes. The, yeah. the, the bucket of love, as it will be called. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you spent some time in America, but you, 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 you come back. Do, do, you, do you like it there? Do you, do you dislike yes, it? Yes, I, I came back because... Uh, I had nothing to do over there, so I came back. <laughs> <laughs> but did you like, is it, was it California you were living in, or...? Yes, we're about living. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. I was Did there. you not do any adverts while you were over there, Peter? No, unfortunately not. Oh, um, dear. Oh, yes, I'm... Uh, oh, you did? <laughs> oh, yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Completely forgot. Yeah. I'm Mr. Diet Cola. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh. <laughs> uh. Do you drink a lot of Diet Cola? <laughs> yes, a great deal. This is why I'm so fat. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first thing I discovered, which I wouldn't have suspected of you, you're a golfer, aren't you? Play... I am, a, I am a, a, a very good golfer, yes. Yeah. But this seems to be... Uh... What's your handicap? 16. Grief, what's is yours? Yes. I don't know what a handicap is. I took part in the... <laughs> I took part in the Channel 4 Pro Celebrity Golf just recently. Oh, really? That look 2K. Was that Channel 4 Celebrities? Channel 4 Celebrities. Are there such a no, thing? No, they have to... <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now, what, what are you up to in, domestically at the moment? You've got a, a house that uh, I hear you've got some problems with the, with the road. The, are you privatising or something? Well, I'm a thorough Thatcherite, as you know, and uh, I do live in a private muse, and we actually own the road. Yes. So I thought we might privatise it, because the only uh, facilities we get are this one lamppost, yeah. the occasional garbage collection, yes. and I thought if you privatise the muse, we could just ask the police and the fire brigade and the ambulances mm. to stop at the top yeah. and we'll wheel people down. Yes. <laughs> so you could be in charge of that, could you? The, uh, the no, emergency trolley? No, I'd leave trolley. it to somebody else sensible. Yeah. Uh, and has, how far have you got with this? Nowhere. No. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a cul-de-sac. <laughs> <you're not laughs> <just a cul -de -sac. laughs> Now, how's Private Eye doing at the moment? Because you're, you're very, very well yeah. indeed. Very well indeed. Because I, I have a future mapped out for you. Because when Viz, Viz is doing very well, mm. when that falls on hard times, do you think you'll be stepping in and buying that up as well and saving no, some? No, I, I don't think so. No, I don't think that will fall on hard times. Actually, mm. actually I think it's quite funny. Yes. <laughs> Talking about libel, did you see that Duncan Campbell picked up <laughs> fifty thousand quid yeah. from the BBC? Yeah. yeah. For... It said a hundred in my. 50,000 in damages, exactly. 50, oh, 50 in... That just, just goes to the lawyers. Cost. Don't worry yeah, about you don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> For an uh, interpretation of him, he thought, in some play. Yes. Mm. As a transvestite shoplifter. Yeah. Mm. He immediately spotted himself, did he? No, <laughs> <laughs> no I thought it was me. I... <laughs> Sorry, Clive, you carry on. Did you have a question? You yes, I did, actually. Sorry, but, uh, no, you go on. I'm sorry. I'm I just didn't have an answer. Thing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> sorry about are my you, I mean, are you just sort of... Are you upset by any libel award? Do you think the, the libel yes, thing... Yes, 600,000 quid for something like that. Well, I know. That, that, well, that, but that yeah. wasn't just any old. Like, that was yeah. a very... That, that was, was very reduced. Special one, that was reduced. Well, you said you were going to go on a diet to raise some money for that. I said I'd walk around Robert Maxwell. Did you manage that once? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Too much of a challenge. Yeah. I, wasn't, I wasn't as fit in those days. No. But, um, now, another little thing, there's one bit of excellent research. I discovered you've been in prison in uh, East Germany. I wonder if you, you're, you're interested in the... Um, in the prison system. In the prison system, or the way things have not developed in, in not Germany. Not in the East German prison no. system. What no. was it like there? Um, well, I was a, being a very annoying person, because I'd wandered into East Germany by mistake and was arrested. <laughs> and was arrested, and as soon as I was arrested, I said, oh, I want it to fit. <laughs> <laughs> I love your little cardboard hats <laughs> and the queues. And when they put me in prison, I said, oh, this is so much nicer than the prisons in the West, because there you're disturbed by radios and television and everything like that. Please, can I stay? Yeah. Yeah. And they got fed up with me and threw me back into West Berlin. <laughs> oh, right. Well, it's always handy to tell on uh, chat shows. Oh, I, yes, very. I think I've told it about 14 times before. <laughs> so, but so I've never heard it before. No, exactly. Like, well, I never watch these chat shows myself. No, I, I no. only appear on them. Exactly. I've never, yeah. never... Well, I think you're both going to appear on one once, uh, but uh, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, for joining us, uh, Peter Cook and Griff Rees Jones. Thank you. Uh, right, well. Right, okay. Uh, so just, just time for me to say thank you to Chris Langham, George Wallace, Nina Miskoff, Griff Rees Jones, Peter Cook. So it's me, Clive Anderson, saying good night. Good night. <laughs>